Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cody with The Connected Camper. Today, I have a little bit of a different video, but still wanted to share it with you guys today. I have this Furman inverter generator that a friend of mine brought to me after using last week. And he said that this generator does not run on gasoline. He was in kind of a critical situation and needed to use it. And so he has it set to the LP gas setting here and was using it on propane. But when he moves it over to gasoline, it does not start. Now, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be going through and troubleshooting this, checking it out, and seeing just what we think it might be. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I do know a little bit already, um, but I'm gonna let you guys find this out along the way. Um, so let's get right to it. So just to validate our understanding, we're going to open the choke, wake up the battery, and, get the, and try and start it like this. Now nothing. So my other generator, like this, it's a twin to it, starts right up when you when you do that. So next thing we're gonna check is fuel, air, and spark. Now, first thing we're gonna check is the fuel. So we're gonna come up here to our fuel cap and we're gonna take a peek in there. There is fuel in there. However, something that you guys can't smell through this YouTube video is that it does not smell like gasoline in there. Let's think about this. What other fuel can you get at the pumps? Diesel fuel. He filled up this generator with diesel fuel. Now, he was having a day. He described that day to me and he was just having a rough day, was mixed up. He was filling up a diesel truck with diesel fuel, moved over to this and put diesel fuel in this. Let's keep the comments mild, please, because we do know that all of us have days like this where things just things just go wrong. So the, the nice thing is, is that he actually did this to my generator as well. And I've already gone through these exact same steps with that one. And that one, I put 60 hours on it uh, over the last couple of weeks and it's been running perfectly fine. But we're gonna run through the same steps that I ran through on that one, on this one to get it cleaned up, get it running right, get it an oil change, and get this thing back off to the races and helping my buddy make some money at his food stand. Okay, so now that we're set up a little bit better, we've got a handful of things here. Got an empty five gallon gasoline jug. Um, what we're actually gonna do, this fuel is pretty well useless because it's a mixture of gasoline and diesel. Some people may say that, ah, oh, that amount of small diesel mixed with gasoline is okay to put in your vehicle. I'm not gonna chance that because I'd rather just not deal with that. Um, my dad is actually going to take this and use this for a brush pile that he's going to be burning this weekend. So it works out really well. He gets extra fuel to get that brush pile started. Um, and then I get to get rid of this in a safe manner. Now, if you run into this or if you have fuel like this um, and you are not using it for a brush pile or anything like that, make sure you dispose of it properly at a, a local hazardous waste uh, facility or something like that. This cannot be just disposed of any, any other way. Um, it should be disposed of properly. Now, what we're going to be doing here is in here there is this little uh, grate um, or strainer that is uh, this does not have a fuel filter on it this is the fuel filter and so what we're going to do is we're getting this out of here and we're just going to set this aside um, now down here i do have an oil siphon that we're going to use to siphon all the fuel out um, of the tank and then we're going to use some carburetor cleaner just to rinse out the tank a bit um, and then this is going to be over here just so that we can drain whatever is in the bowl of the carburetor uh, down. So I'm going to get you set up just a little bit better and I will get to siphoning.
Now what we're going to work on next is getting this side panel off so that we can drain any of the remaining diesel slash gasoline mixture from the carburetor. Uh, I've got as much as I can out of the fuel tank itself um, and we're just going to let whatever's left in the fuel tank run out through the carb. Um, this should only take a couple of minutes. The, the longest part of it um, is just draining what's, what's left in the carb there and then the remaining little bit that's in the fuel tank um, will actually likely run uh, will likely mix with the rest of the gasoline um, when I fill up the tank with clean gasoline. Um, and then we're also going to mix in some carburetor cleaner in there too just to see if we can rinse any more out. But there will likely be a little bit of diesel fuel remaining in the fuel tank that a uh, full tank of gasoline will be able to dilute enough that, the, um, that it will run in that state. So um, we'll give it a little bit here and we'll get this uh, carburetor uh, drained out and then we'll get to cleaning out the tank and getting it running on gasoline once more So on on any of these generators like this, you'll see that I grabbed this little clear line Right here. This was just tucked down inside and then right here's our carburetor Can't see that. This guy right here, and then there's a little screw right over here but I have the screwdriver on that when I screw this counterclockwise, it will actually open up the little valve in the bottom of the carburetor and drain the remaining fuel out of this line right here. That's important to know if you do store these generators for any period of time, just to make sure that um, any fuel that's remaining in the carburetor doesn't gum it up. And at this point, this fuel in here only smells like diesel fuel. Gasoline and diesel fuel will mix when they are put in a scenario like this. However, um, <laughs> there, there couldn't have been much gasoline in the tank when he filled it up with diesel fuel because it smells pretty rich of diesel fuel. Now I'm just gonna rock this back and forth a little bit to see if we can get any more of this fuel out of here. Um, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go get carb cleaner, spray it in the fuel tank, and then I'm going to grab some gasoline. And we're going to sacrifice a little bit of gasoline to rinse the fuel tank out just to get any more of that diesel fuel out before we fill it back up with, the, the, with as much gasoline as we have. Now after you empty out your carburetor like this, you want to make sure that you close it back up like this. Otherwise you would have it continuing to dump out any fuel that comes into the carb again. I'm just going to tap this a couple times to keep to get as much of the fuel out of the line right here so that way we don't have it leak inside the case. And that's about as good as that's going to get. So we tuck that back in there. I'm going to leave this off just in case. I'm going to leave the side cover off just in case when we go to get back, when we go to get this running again, if it doesn't start, I don't have to take those four screws out again because while I'm confident in what I'm doing, I'm not certain that it's going to work. Fuel valve is on. Choke, wake up our battery. Let's give it a go.
you can't tell, this still had quite a bit of fuel in the combustion chamber there. So um, we're gonna leave it run here on just a little bit of choke for a little bit. And it's still smoking pretty good, as you can see. So we're gonna let it run here for just a little bit and that smoke should clear out here in the next couple of minutes. So just like that, this silly mistake that this guy felt really bad about was rectified. Now, it only took us 35 minutes to get this fixed. The biggest problem that I have with this is now I have this mixed fuel that I can't do anything with. Bad gasoline, I would put that in my truck. That's not gonna have any problems. Mixed diesel fuel with gasoline, I don't have a lot of uses for that. So this is gonna go to the burn pile with my dad. So if you like videos like this, or if you have ideas for future videos, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.